are the chances that this thing will fall and I die right now? Not the high hope. On the Kramer homestead, Matt and 16-year-old Rowan prepare the family's old treehouse for a conversion into a predator-proof chicken coop. The first thing that I'm going to do is brace the top so that it doesn't collapse on its own weight. Step one, securing the structure so it doesn't fall apart as they attempt to move it to the ground. OK, this thing is braced up. Matt, yep, got to get it short. Matt, I got a shackle right here. This looks sketchy. So Matt's trying to detach this playhouse from these big trees. And it's down to these last four ropes that hold it together. As he cuts each one, it gets more and more dangerous. Frankly, he's at the end of his rope. All right, bring it up. Here I come. Ooh, man, that red strap ain't tight. I got it. OK. I'm going to cut it loose, and then you're going to take it out. Chainsaw. Careful. Woo! This is definitely sketchy, but using this old tree house saves us a ton of time on construction and building materials. OK. All right, take that out of there. Getting the chicken coop out of the trees, it's just tangled in between framing and ropes and knots. All right, try it. It's hung up on this two by four at the back. Is this still structurally sound? Not really. Watch out. That feels free right there. Yep. It's looking free. What do you say? Yeah, go for it. Why'd the treehouse cross the road? Why? It wanted to be a chicken coop, I think. <laughs> Love it. Nice work, Matt. Yeehaw! Oh, don't not, don't get, don't smash me now. Yeah. You guys tell me where you want it. Yeah. OK. Right here. All right, let's undo the strap. To have the rainies here is a huge help. Thank you. You got it, Rowan. Yeah. It would be huge to have a source of another like livestock and food on our property, because eggs is the biggest thing we eat here. So it means a lot to us. Hey, buddy, you can leave all that there and get it off the bucket. What's up? Get off the bucket. Yeah. Working with Rowan and knowing that he's 16 years old, it's really funny. He has the same kind of vibe that I had when I was 16. Like, you know, you're capable, you're strong, you can do anything. But you know, you're 16. You're good. That'll work. So you can kind of see that he's starting to wander and keep him on task. But I like the fact that we're already working well together. He's my man. So that went really well. Yeah. That thing was pretty flimsy, man. When I, I thought I had like a couple braces. And then I walked out and like just shook the building. And I was like, no. I'm amazed it came down in one piece. Yeah, you did a good job. What is the plan for this thing? We're going to use this as a chicken coop. There's going to be laying boxes. You're going to be able to access them from the outside, check for eggs every day, make it real easy. This will be like a little drive through chicken shack. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Can we can snow machine through here in the winter and grab them? Exactly. Oh, it's going to be perfect. I can already smell an omelet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting that chicken coop out of the tree and not crunching it is really like the biggest win because it's the majority of our building project already done. And now we just need to close it in and get it as predator proof as we can. Let's start figuring this thing out. All right. Sweet. With only 24 hours until the Rainies have to leave to rescue another homestead. Are you excited about getting chickens? <laughs> yes. Matt, Melanie, and the Kramer children, Rowan and Naya, put the finishing touches on their treehouse turned predator-proof chicken coop. Excited! It's a good chicken coop, guys. It is. 
Compared to our old treehouse, it's, it's doing pretty good. We got the chicken coop pretty much done. I'm putting the last touches. Two layers of defense, different wires, different sizes. Perfect. It's going to be hard for a critter to get through. Done. I think it looks pretty good. All we need to do now is move the chickens in the coop, give them some food and water, and this thing will be totally completed. The chickens are here. The chickens are here. Pull forward a little bit. Right here. It's good. Wow. Wow. Oh, nice. Look at these chickens. Hi, Hello, How sir. Was your night? We brought in our friend Don. He raises chickens for a living. He is the go-to. And Don has given us really the most hardy, tough chickens that can survive this really brutal, long girdwood winter. And these chickens are gonna provide a lot of food and a lot of protein for this homestead. She's so cool. This is a Novagen. Oh, wow. And she'll start laying in a week or so. And What's... then this is a color pack. <laughs> it's got like a mohawk or she. The breeds that showed up here today are super good for cold weather. And in Alaska, that's really important. A color and pack. And they're particularly cold hardy because see, they're yeah. they a little yeah. mohawk on top of their comb. They've got very small waddles. They should do really well for you. Dude, this Great. is awesome. Thank you. Well, here, I want to take a quick peek. Okay. I want to see which one I'm going to name. Seven days ago, the Kramer homestead was without Ooh. livestock or a reliable source of winter protein. Now, using a recycled children's treehouse as a predator-proof chicken coop, the family will have access to a near constant source of food right at their doorstep. That's awesome what Matt did at the chicken coop. To see what he came up with, I love how he put it together. They're really yeah, cool. The black ones are spot. beautiful. Woo! I've never it's had one like that. We can cruise by in the wintertime with our snow machines, open it up, check for eggs. Super cool, man. I'm excited. And all these varieties lay about 300 eggs a year for their first uh, two years. It's going to be a major help. If we're getting eggs that regularly, that's going to be awesome. We got six of them. Do that math. That's <laughs> it's awesome. A lot man. of eggs. It's great that we now have this food source to fall back on. They're already checking the nesting yeah. boxes out, which is That's pretty great. cool. The chicken coop is definitely my favorite part of the property. I think we did really good with that, especially because it went for my janky treehouse. The whole entire chicken coop is cool. Right on. Well, thank you so much. All right, good meeting you. Thanks for the nice delivery, too. Thanks, man. Have a safe drive back. I will. Thank you.